Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the More Freedom Game Studios here in the Mad Games Tycoon 2. Uh, today we are going to be jumping into something. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what the game plan is right now. Uh, you're currently looking at the, hopefully, the completion of Pirates of the Indian coming up very soon. We want to get that out. Uh, I believe we were going, once this is finished, the More Freedom Series 2003, we are going to... That's going to come out, hopefully, for next year at the Christmas gifting window. And once this is done, I think we're going to hold on to it until the Christmas gifting window. The Iceman Cometh is still number two in the charts. Let's get some ad stuff going for that, because why not, right? Why not? Let's, uh, let's hit some radio ads right now. And... Once that is done, we will check on whatever else we need to do for the Iceman Cup or the other ones like demos and stuff like that. So that's currently our game plan. And we're going to cancel this and we're going to put them on. Oh, let's make sure there's no. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. Let's check out the Think Tank. Uh, engine features. Let's go ahead and get that going. Modern 3D graphics. And then once that's done, we will have the processing tank update the engine. This is almost complete. This guy is complete. Let's see. Did we get that? Did that any of those? Let's cancel this. And can we do high quality animations on anything? No, we're all done. We're all done on all of them. So we'll get polishing back on Pirates of the Indian. And we're just waiting on the sound, to be real honest on that. And then I think we're going to come out with a new a new game. I mean, we've been doing kind of the same thing. I think we need to jump into something different. Let's get a large booth going here. We're going to put in uh, The Iceman Cometh, Pirates of the Indian, and the More Freedom Series 2003. We also need to do our, we need to get working on our um, console development. I think that's maybe what we were doing was console development. Not sure. We're still 100% on our dadgums there. So number three in the charts still, we made $84 million off of that. Basically, I think, it, I, think I even said Pirates of the Indian is going to be what pays for our console development. So we're going to wait for that to come out to start our console development. So, um, yes, mm -hmm. sure. Let's get rid of the heat zone. Yeah. Uh, ad tank. Can we get some special marketing? Can we publish a demo? Oh, I mean, let's publish a demo. Get that word out there. Just into the public eye. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Looking at all these things, I think we're good. And done. It is now complete. So we're going to finish development. And we're going to self-distribute this. And yada, yada, yadas, all the normal stuffs. And, okay, we are in, so, 8, 9, 10, 11. How far out can we go? So, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 8, 9, 10, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, if we go August to September, September to October, October to November, plus 3. So, we want... Basically, four times three is a number. Three times four is 12. So let's go 12 weeks. Boom! 95! Let's go! Uh, this review is about the sequel to the Pirates of the Atlantic. We check you for... We check for you if the newest part of the series is worth it. The balance of the game is particularly well done. A role model for all games in this genre. I immediately fell in love with the graphic style. Never would a game have been rendered in such detail. The great sound are especially noteworthy. 
More is not possible on this system. The game simply is si the game's simple and polished controls set new standards. Only three words: bye, bye, bye. All right. So hopefully. Okay. So what we're gonna do Iceman come with plus eleven for that demo. Um let's also put out special marketing for Pirates of the Indian. And let's go ahead and publish a demo for it. Get that hype up. And let's see, we got stock of fifty-eight thousand for that. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm gonna Cancel this, and I'm going to do produce a game, and I'm going to say Pirates of the Indian. We've sold 3 million of Iceman Cometh, so I'm going to do 500,000, 50,000, 50,000 of those. And we're going to say go. Do we have enough space? We do. So we're going to produce those, and then we will put it back on automatic production. And hopefully we don't run out of the Iceman Cometh before then. Kind of just wanted to get, you know, things going. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is... Let's come over here. We're going to cancel that. We're going to cancel that. We're going to put them on support of this guy and for a moment we're going to put them on support of this guy right here and support of this guy right here and bug fixing actually let's cancel that because we're going to put them on support of Oh, did they already finish all this stuff? Or were they doing that? Um, improved gameplay? Oh, it's all done. Um, create game report. And we're going to do that. And now we need to produce a game. Actually, we need to go back to automatic production. Sorry, Iceman cometh. Sorry. And it just sold 60,000 in one week, so we basically did what we were going to do. Um, high quality animations. All done. All done. Let's do polishing on that for just a moment. Okay, and then we want to get this guy going on our game engine. And update an old engine. Yes. So we got advanced physics, modern 3D graphics. Let's go. So if we turn down the sales, like let's turn it down and turn up the profit sharing. Maybe like we put that at like 10. Let's see what happens. See if that does anything. Well, you know, get in there. Do something different. Okay, now let's see what they got over here. Gameplay features. Um, Let's go. All right. So let's think of our next. We want to do our next. Uh, our next game. So let's develop a game new pc and console game because really mmos and that are not um huge right now i don't think that's i don't think if i don't think that's a, a big thing so let's figure out what are we want our genre to be something we haven't done before i mean we've done almost everything actually we haven't so you can see the ones that we normally do uh, third-person shooter. 
I don't know what platformer is. No. Action. RPG. No. Fighting? Yes. I want to look at that again. So, no good graphics and especially violence are the main elements of this genre. No strategic elements are required here. Only res Okay, we're going to go with that. Now, let's look at third-person shooter again. Looking through this stuff. Bounty Hunter. I think we already do Bounty Hunter, don't we? No, we have Hitman. Chicken, Circus Cities. Now we did Contract Killer. That's what we did. We could do Cowboys. Cowboys in the Desert. Erotica. Sounds awesome. Gangsters. No. No. We have a lot. We have a lot of stuff. Ninjas. No, because we want guns. So I was thinking we can do cowboys. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do this. Cowboys and West. Wild West. Um, Triple A. I mean, we're going to say all. Standard game. Standard game. Without a license. Let's see, Cowboys. I'm going something simple, Cowboys of the West. Because then we got, you know, we got we can get into Cowboys of the West one and two and all that other stuff too is what I'm thinking. So we're gonna say that. And remember, this is. Let's look at these again. Um. Graphics and violence, and gameplay, gameplay, graphics, and violence. Gameplay, graphics, and violence. This is going on the PC, and the Macintosh. Let's see, we want to go with the... Sega and okay well let's make sure that we don't have we have the Nintendo or game portable advance um no 
We're going to put this on the game station. The Freedom Engine. Do we not have the... Okay, we just don't have the level 5 stuff for that yet. Um... Hmm. Sure. That seems bad. Okay. So we wanted graphics and gameplay. I'm going to go down on one here. Let's do that. Actually, let's do this. Okay, graphics and gameplay. Uh, violent. Casual game. So... Go down on that. Level design, let's go up a couple. Mission design, let's go up a couple. Story down to character design down one. Game depth up two. Game length down one. Innovation down one. Let's go with that. Let's see what happens. Give me everything you think we'll need. 50 of 50. In-app purchases, we want that. Um, so we're going to get rid of something. Dance pad support. Get out of here. Level editor, light gun support, mouse support. Yes. Because we have keyboard support, right? Yeah, so let's, we'll have to find something to get rid of. Um... Thinking password saves. Password saves. Yeah, let's go with that. And cosmetics and skins, pets and mounts, instances. I mean, Let's go with that for right now. Sure, we can always change it in the next one, right? Right. Cowboys of the West. Well, let's go. Let's cancel support here. And high quality sounds on Cowboys of the West. Give us all of that. Cancel support. High quality graphics. Cowboys of the West. Give us all that. Cancel support. Improve gameplay. Cowboys of the West. Give us all that. And then we will immediately go into support for this. Okay. Uh, cancel task. Animations. Cowboys of the West. I do that every time. I always select the wrong one. Okay, we're good here. All righty then. So we got that going. Eventually we're going to get some bugs, I think, on this. So, oh, I should have waited till the Freedom Engine was updated. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Four weeks until Pirates of the Indian comes out. So four weeks until three weeks until Pirates of the Indian come Indian comes out, All right? Um, I wonder gameplay features. Nope. The 
design priority, copy protection, and anti-cheat. Okay. I was just looking at stuff. I was trying to figure out if I could update the engine with the latest stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nope. Do we have... I need to stop pushing buttons. Okay. So, beefy tank. I want you to... Let's start them on something else as well. So, I need to look at... I think I have all of these are... I'm going to cancel this real fast, and I'm going to do game report and view my game reports. Yeah, we definitely missed it on some of this stuff, but... Pirates and thieves do not fit together, apparently, but okay. Maybe the game needs to be longer and the de game depth needs to be shorter on the next one. Let's get back into bug fixing. Okay, that guy is done. That is almost done. Freedom Engine is almost updated. And we got a month until the... We got... Oh no, Pir Pirates of the Indian is out. Sheesh! We're number one in the charts. What was that? What was that sound? We did how many the first week? So, I mean, we've already sold our half million. <laughs> we've already sold our half million. So, that's pretty... That's pretty amazing. Uh, ad tank. Let's go special marketing. Pirates of the Indian does not need anything. Uh, the a More Freedom series re beta. Let's do a beta for the More Freedom series. Let's uh, cancel that task. And we have hardware. All right. This is a lot of dimp. So we don't want to do all of these, I don't think. We only want to do the top level stuff, right? Uh, technology level. So, like, for instance, we want the 500 megahertz CPU. So we want to do the 500 megahertz CPU, and then we want to do the graphics here. So let's start up on the 500 megahertz CPU. And I'm looking here. All right, more Freedom Series. It's a plus. That's a plus. We're, do we're dwindling down on the Iceman Cometh. So I think what I want to do real fast, I I'm going to pause. And the reason I'm going to pause is because I also, I want to put in another, um, I want to put in another research area. And the reason I want to do that is because, well, oh, hold on. Wait for this guy to go back to where he was. Okay, now we can pause. All right, the reason I want to put in a new research area is because I want to get them working on some of the other stuff at the same time. Actually, let's do this. Can we come over here and can we copy this room? And can we put this in somewhere else we cannot it's too big it's too big all right let's uh move that and 
put it over here somewhere. That, let's put it over here. It'll be very hot there. Now let's get a research room going. I don't know. We're go we're just trying something out here. Uh give me a door. And automatically place the furniture. Let's see what we got. I don't know if we need that many. Let's go ahead and adjust some of this. Let's put this over right here. Uh-huh. This one. We're going to get rid of. Let's put this right here. Let's move this guy. Just for right now, we're going to throw that right there. And we're going. How many people is that? I don't know. Let's get rid of this one. Mm-hmm. Plant. Let's move. Oop, that's the wrong button. Whatever that is to right there. And right here. Let's grab another one. Let's grab another plant. Let's go tropical. Let's get tropical. That can go right there. No lamp. No, I don't like that lamp. Need some clocks. All right, well now let's see if we can hire anybody. So we need job market, research, we have several hired, get in there. Let's get all these people hired up. Okay, six of 12. All right, now let's see what we got. Let's, uh, console features. Ooh. Let's do it by research cost. Start at the bottom. Actually, I guess we could do just everything, right? Right. Or do we want to do, that's our miscellaneous. We don't want any of that. We don't need that right now. Yeah, I think we go console features and send them. What do you think? I think that's a, I think it's a fantastic idea. So we're getting ready to come up on the best part here is the, we got a gold record for Pirates of the Indian just now. Uh, our next thing is the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, awards. Super excited. We've sold 1.5, 1.1 million of the Pirates of the Indian, and it's only been out for five weeks. And that's almost half of what we did with the Iceman Cometh over the last 70 weeks. 
which I think we should probably get a boost in in just a moment after these awards. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. Yes! Game of the year, baby! Let's go! Excitement. Excitement. So we should get a big boost in our sales at the end of this week. And now we are in the Christmas gifting window as well. So we want to get the More Freedom series finished by the end of the year. So I'm going to put uh, support onto the More Freedom series of all of these guys. Because we want that done by this time next year. So we did get a little bit of a boost here in our weekly numbers. And we're still doing 200. We did 210,000 of the Pirates of the Indian. How insane is that? That is crazy. Uh, let's do a special marketing for pre-release for the press. And it might be a womp, womp, womp. But we're going to figure it out. Job market. Oh, we got some more researchers, so let's get them hired. Because we needed six more. So we need three more researchers. Our thing is up to date. So again, yes, a plus three on that. Uh, Pirates of the Indian is what's going to buy us our... It's going to buy us this building here because we're up to $215 million, And then that's what we'll start doing our console with. But we technically don't need that until we get all of the stuff researched for it. So we'll get all of this done and then while we're working on this stuff... So, end of the year report, we made $77 million in revenue. So, 138 in game, engine licensing, 41000 commission work, 858000 um, items, 5700 merchandise, 750000 in merchandise. How awesome is that? And then miscellaneous of 12000 I'm one, you know, like, items must be, like, Items for the Iceman cometh, I guess. So that's great. Um, I was wanting to see if it told me how many. Got some really good reviews on that. And I mean, it's already made $44 million. And it has been in, I, it's half right now of what the Iceman Cometh has done. So we're going to pause right there at the beginning of the year. We're still kind of in the Christmas gifting window. Our plan of attack for the next episode will be to finish the More Freedom Series 2003, which is almost done. Graphics are done. Sound is almost done. Um, we just need to get the other 40% done before the end of the year before it gets to, I'm hoping the third week of November, like the first or second or third week of November, we want it to come out before the, the awards come out. So then we can get that boost. If we get, if we get a uh, game of the year again. So that's what we'll be working on for the next episode. We may have to take, I mean, we've pretty much given everything we can to it other than the bug fixers throwing stuff on here. But um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode of the More Freedom Game Studios here in the Mad Games Tycoon 2. Again, next time we're up to the More Freedom su Series 2003 and we have Pirates of the Indian at number one and Cowboys of the West coming. So that's it. We'll talk to you. Well, thanks so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. And until next time. Take care.